Never in my life did I expect to be reading The Kite Runner by, what's his name, Khaled Hassani. Hassani? Hosseini. Khaled Hosseini. So uh, I'm really glad that I did pick it up though because it was a required reading material, of course. But, you know, I don't really pick up normal contemporary materials like this. Or historical materials, whatever it is. Uh, usually. I do usually pick up fantasy. And that's what I love. This book really gave me a break from that. And for a long time I was wondering, why, why do people read this kind of stuff? Why do people read contemporary books? You know, I've read some, like The Fault in Our Stars, a couple things like that. And that, I feel like it was a real big outlet because the majority of books I've read really didn't make me feel anyway, so I didn't really enjoy them usually. This book is the opposite. This was a beautiful, mature, incredible book. I'm going to be going over every single kind of thing that you might want to hear about this book, see if it's good for you, uh, and I will be going over everything. So don't worry about that. Fantasy books, reviews, coming again later on. This book, is this is this, is this week. I just finished it. Oh, I loved it. I just hit five stars. Awesome. It's great. It's so good. That title hit me hard. It was a really tough title for me to really process because by the end of the book, you know exactly what it means. You know why it's called The Kite Runner. You, you understand from the beginning of the book kind of what it's about, but by the end, you're just wrapping it all together. It's so beautiful. I love the title of this book. It's just great. And I know I'm usually jokey and stuff like that, but this is kind of a more serious book. So I do want to like tone that down just a tiny bit because in all sincerity, I love Love, love this book. It was such a beautiful read for me. I've been reading it constantly over the past three days. I'm a slow reader, right? Ch chill. But I've been reading it like walking down the street, and I never do that. I've, I haven't done that in years. I, I've been reading it not into the night, because I never needed to read it into the night. I've always been reading constantly throughout the day. I've been reading it during classes. I've been reading it in my spare time crazy. I usually watch YouTube and do like completely non-productive stuff in my spare time, but this I've been reading in my spare time while I, I have the ability to watch YouTube. So this book has really done a lot in pulling me away from stuff and I, I really want to discuss specifically why I love it so much. The importance in this book is just the, uh, the, the, the themes really and the characters and the character motivations which isn't just good. You know, you have a character, you like in Stephen King, you kind of have a character and you, they're great characters. Their, their motivations are really good. You know, their, their settings, their plots and all that is really, really good. But they very rarely hit you on an emotional level that really drives something home because they might be good, but only while working in conjunction with each other can you really put a story together that hits you hard. This book does not only have great character and great plot, they interweave them so perfectly in a way that I did not understand how how they did it. And they, they did it so perfectly. Uh, Khaled, he did it so perfectly that I cannot understand how this, this kind of thing came into his mind. It's so beautiful, it's so ornate, that it's just incredible how he, he put these two things together. For that reason alone, very few books I've ever read have ever done that. You know, a couple. I would put that as things like the Ray Bradbury's uh, something. I forget what it was. It was a Ray Bradbury book that I've reviewed. You can go check it out on my channel. But it's a beautiful book and because it interweaves character and plot. And that's just, it does such incredible things. The character, again, once again, it's, it's a beautiful character. These characters are so well fleshed out, so well created. Some of them are not fleshed out, but they don't need to be. They, all they need to be is you need to understand who they are, and even if they're not completely fleshed out, you understand the importance of who they are, you already understand the importance of what they do, what they mean to the main character. Amir, this guy, it's so beautiful. Do not read the back of this book. This back spoils so much. Uh, the, but you, you already understand, by the time you, you leave these characters, you understand what these characters are all about. It's extremely good character building. The plot itself, it works to really do well in this book, and, and it's a very fairly ba basic plot line, um, but it does hit the character segment in such incredible, beautiful ways that I, I love the, uh, the crossing of these two things. It's so great, in my opinion. I, I love all that. Writing style is just beautiful. Uh, there's not, I never had a problem in this book. I did have a couple, like a couple things like had, had, you know, that kind of thing. You know, generally writers know not to put that in. They kind of like change the words up, but he kept it in. And it was like only like three or four times, but every single time I noticed it by the, uh, and I was really absorbed in this book, despite walking down the street. Like you cannot be more distracted than walking in a dangerous area, you know, but I was not distracted. I was fully reading this book and I was, you know, I was still being safe, but like this book really, really drew me in and I was talking to so many people a lot of them said 
this book is just great. I, I don't think I've met one person who said this book wasn't great. I think I've talked to three or four people at this point. And this isn't for me like going around searching for people. This is people who saw me reading the book and were like, oh, I read that book. Yeah, it's great. I love it. And it's so recognizable because of that. It's so, it's just so great. This book was written way, way back in the day, but I, I can see that it still has a very modern understanding of how things work. 15 years is back in the day, in case you didn't notice, from me. Uh, yeah, that, that was just wonderful. The thematic significance of this book, it's very easy to understand, and a lot of the thematic stuff definitely went over my head, but it has so much easy to understand stuff that I'm very, very happy that I understood it. It has so much themes about guilt, about self-worth, about uh, repenting for what you've done in the past, about uh, how you treat people, how how you want to be treated and how you treat other people. Because that statement of treat others how you want to be treated, you know, that's not just a virtue. You don't just want to do that. Sometimes you do that without knowing and it's a bad thing, you know? It, it's really, it's a very interesting way that he deconstructs that. He deconstructs, uh, you know, stuff like how do you see the people who were before you, your ancestors, your father, your uncles, your aunts, the people who you do not understand truly what they did to do to get where they are. How you overestimate some of their feats, how you underestimate some of their feats. Just some incredible, beautiful stuff in this book. And you're able to understand all of it, or uh, all of what I've said if you were a high school student. You know, it's very easy to understand. If you were some kind of literary genius, you'll get so much more. Even a young reader would understand that this book is very significant. You would understand a couple of these plot points. I think the easiest one is guilt and how you hold guilt with you. With you. Just basic stuff like that, which is just brilliant. I, I love that so much. I really don't want to talk too much about this book. It really speaks for itself. It's a contemporary with beautiful plot intersecting with a character with some really gut punching moments and there's some moments you know right at the beginning which is like which is really really difficult to read and uh yeah i i personally in a lot of circumstances you might be mad at me but i would laugh in that situation just because it feels so corny coming off of a book and i would just laugh like oh my god he just he didn't that's hilarious and i was in this book you know i began kind of laughing about it like oh my god this man this dude but then soon it really, really hit me because this guy is just an incredible writer that he does this stuff so well. It really hit me like, I don't laugh. That's, mm, right? That's really hurt, hurtful. And you know, we get to that point. And by that point, every single gut punch, it really, really gets me hard. I, 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 I didn't cry, okay? I'm a man, I don't cry. But it brought me close to tears uh, a lot of times. It was really, really upsetting a lot of times. Um, and if you're really upset, you might not want to read this. Usually, I would recommend this for a, you know, teenagers generally. Anybody above a teenager age. There's a lot of stuff you don't want to read as a kid. Uh, but yeah, I would recommend this to anybody above a teenager. And especially people who are in the teenage years. Because a lot of this stuff, your parents understood. Maybe your parents could do this as well. But older people have not have, have already lived through the events in this story, and they've understand it. They've seen it from news stories and stuff like that. But as a younger generation, we were born after the end of this book happened, and a lot of stuff happened before that is very culturally significant. What I'm trying to say is that we, as a younger generation, cannot really understand what happened in that time before us without really reading some stuff like this because this is very visceral uh, older people might understand it you know they might hear it on the news they might understand it to that like distance degree but in this book you really get up close and personal and you know from some uh, just talking about someone because this is all about afghanistan if you didn't know um talking about someone who like me who uh knows kind of what these places are like he got it really accurately and that surprises me not not because he didn't really understand it, but because he put it down in writing. And I'm very, very impressed about that. This is a work of art. I gave it a perfect 5 out of 5. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. I hope you guys are going to read this book. Because this is one of the few books that I really recommend to almost everyone. It is not... Is it, is it one of my top of the year? I would put it in the top 5 of my year, probably. So far, it might be the number 1, in my opinion. Uh, but, you know, probably maybe second to Name of the Wind. Something like that. But it would be up in the top five for sure. This is a, a great, wonderful book. Let me know what you guys thought of it down below. If you have read the book, if you haven't, let me know if you plan to read it, if you plan not to read it. Let me know if you have any questions about the book. I can answer all sorts of stuff. This was just a wonderful book. And, uh, if, if you want to start a discussion, go ahead with that below. If you want me to review any other contemporaries, let me know. I subscribe. I'm going to be reading a lot of fantasy. Like I said, this isn't my normal type of book. I usually read, you know, fantasy. Fa not there. Fant fantasy. Fantasy fantasy, a lot of fantasy in Stephen King, so 
you know, if you want to see some of that, subscribe for that. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.